Welcome to 24 Willie Mays Plaza, the home of the Giants and Oracle Park. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies taking on the San Francisco Giants. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. Singy, this might be my favorite ballpark in the game. Just looking out over the bay, seeing the boats in the water. Beautiful ballpark, a great atmosphere. Don't get it twisted. San Francisco Giants fans bring it. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get started. Today's starting pitcher, Robbie Ray. What do you have on him? Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes Lead and off, surrenders a rare home run. run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. Tovar. All right, ready to go here. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ezekiel Tovar. The pitch. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The pitch ball. that misses now one and one two. two strikes wouldn't ball. chase that time ball. got him looking and there's one down frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while you want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Line and caught at third by Chapman. The Gold Glover makes the play. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. Not a team that usually sees a lot of pitches or works a ton of walks, Chris. They take a more aggressive approach than some of the other teams in the league. They definitely have a few free swingers in this lineup. Hitters who want to be on the attack, and that's great as long as you got pitches in the zone, but if the pitcher's able to expand the zone, can be very Ball difficult one. for an offense like this to get going. You've got to somehow draw some walks, put some runners on base, so that when you do have those free swingers come up, you can cash in with some runs that are plated. Two down, nobody on. Right. In the air, left side. Conforto settles under this one. Brings it in for the third out. Half an incomplete. We've got no score. Back here in San Francisco, showing the slab in today's game, Peter Lambert. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Jorge Soler. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Lambert, a 6-2 righty, 210 pounds, and he was a second-round pick back in 2015. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. On a line, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. He didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. And a foul ball left side. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. 
Not an easy out by any means. Off the plate inside, and that is ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Hilliard makes the grab one down. Now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. And it's caught for the out. Batting four, the third baseman. Matt Chapman. And here is Matt Chapman. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above oh. average speed, but he does. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. And the righty deals. Ball. That one catches the corner for a strike. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Hit in the air, left field. And that is that. We head to the second from San Francisco. No score. Back here at Oracle Park. Second inning set to go. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Left-hand batter waits. One and more. now it's even up. And another ball. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Left-hand hitter waits. The two on is high. That one fouled off. Well gone, belted. That one carrying. And it bangs off the foul pole. Home run. His second home run of the series. And they jump out front. It's 1-0. Those are the at-bats that leave pitchers exhausted. He had to throw a lot of pitches and still gave up the long ball. That's a bad combo. Off the bat, it looked like it had plenty of distance, but there was just no telling if it was going to stay fair. I mean, he really hooked that thing down the right field line, but good thing that big pole was there to let us know. Could have very easily just been a long strike if he hit it out front any more than he did. Chris Bryant stands in now and watches strike one. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Swing and a miss. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. Feels like he kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think he's ever way off with his balls and strikes, but yeah, I don't think it's easy to define what his zone is, like you said. 
Chases that one out of the zone. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Strike of the outside corner. It's 0-1. One down, base is empty. Well, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. One out, base is empty, and a run in here at the top of the second. Ball. Next pitch inside. Two balls, two, two, ball. strikes. two strikes. All right, so in this at bat, he's seen a couple of off speed pitches, now back to back ball. fastballs. In this count, count. you've definitely got to stay back. Make sure you don't get out in front and be prepared to shorten up and hit the ball the other way. That one the other way makes the grab, and there's two out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Michael Tolia. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Makes the play and it's out number three. The Rockies get one by way of the long ball. It's now one nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back Lady to the ballpark. The Bottom half of inning number no two. Left. Michael Conforto Michael. will climb in. Conforto. Lambert back to work. And that one fouled off. Out there to center. Hillier just towards it. Puts it away for the out. Batting six. Not shortstop. Tyler. Tyler Fitzgerald, the next giant to hit. And misses inside. Up and in, 2 and 0. Oh. A wind of the pitch. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Just a little too quick on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. off the plate that time. Straighten him up a little bit. Liner, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. The right field. And at first with one gone. And now the right fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. Lambert throws over. Fitzgerald back on a dive. That Little. one well upstairs. And that's ball one. Fitzgerald at first, one gone. Next offering in there for a strike. And yeah, the count one even ball. at one. one strike. And the right hander deals. Grounder might be two. Touches the bag for one, and that's two. 
No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Rockies one and the Giants nothing. Out of the third Jacob inning, Stallings Jacob Stallings, Stallings now. The catcher, Jacob Stallings. As the lefty gets to work. Swing and a foul straight back. And a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Here's the 0 2. Ball, ball one there. One ball, two strikes. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Ramos makes the catch, and there's one gone. Sam Hillier digging in for the Rockies. First pitch just misses. One ball, no strike. Swings through that one out in front that time. One one. There's a strike. Got him swinging. Back to the top of the lineup, and here is Ezekiel Tovar. Let off the game with a strikeout. First pitch, not close. Two out, spaces empty. That one a little bit high, and the count is 2-0. Fastball for a strike. Hit on the ground to the right side. Slings to first. It's a 1 2 3 inning for the Rockies. Three up, three down for him there. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Rockies one and the Giants nothing. And we're back as we go to the last of the third. Here's Kurt Casale. The wind of the pitch. On the ground. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Gets it there in time, though, and they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. Great job by the second baseman right there. Quick reaction to dive, knock that ball down, and Big leaguers just don't panic, not the good ones. He gets up, makes the play, really good throw over to first base. That's the kind of composure that you want to see from a guy in that position. And the batter now, Brett Wisely. Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently. Barely hitting over the Mendoza oh. line this month. In there in its own one. There's a strike. Absolutely frozen on that heater right down the middle, and that's a pitch you're just not getting back. Now he's in a tough spot, especially after falling behind on a good first pitch. Here's a high chopper. The flip to the pitcher covering, and a couple of quick outs. The batter, number two, designated hitter, Jorge. Jorge Soler up at the Soler. plate. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. Check swing no, didn't go. One and oh. The Giants down by a run here in the last half of the third. Comes two. up empty. That's strike two. One, two. Push. 
swing and a miss struck him out and a nice inning of work there as he sets him down one two three nothing doing there for San Francisco they still trail one nothing. Here in San Francisco, out of the fourth, now the number two hitter, Jake Cave. Cave measures six feet even, 31 years old, a former first round pick back in 2015. Swinging a foul back, that's out of play. Kicks and fires. And delivers outside. And a big swing and a miss. One ball, two the wide, the kick, and the one two. No. Just missed. It's a good take. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. He sends it out of here. His fourth home run of the season. It's 2 0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. And stepping in is the speedy Brenton Doyle. Yeah. Top of the zone for a called strike. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And a pitch. A little oh, bit high. Oh. And one and one. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to now stay bad. in the head, third but base. going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. And now it's going to be Ryan McMahon. He's already homered here in this one. Ground ball right side, foul. and that's just foul. One run across in the frame so far. Top half of inning number four. Ball, Next down. offering is down low. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Good Love eye you. right there. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Out on the drop third strike, two gone. Now batter, designated hitter, Chris. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Struck out swinging his first time. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Yastrzemski makes the catch in and over. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Bottom of the fourth, Leading and up. here's the first baseman, Lamont Wade the Jr. Lamont. Lambert back to work. Foul ball there. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Ball. The next offering misses, and now one it's ball. even one, one and one. Side. That's down and in, a slider missed. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. 
on the ground. Rodgers. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Elliot Ramos. Flied to right his first time. That oh. one missed. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swings through that one for strike one. one there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Outside low, and it's two and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Hilliard makes the grab. Two down. The batter, the third baseman, Matt. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. He's 0 for 1. One. Right through there for a strike. And look out as that one ran in and got him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. So two down, and digging in for San Francisco, Michael Conforto, 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. First pitch misses. Two outs. That one fouled off. Here's a one to one. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Chapman off the of first with two away. Right through there. Got him. That is the inning. So the Giants leave one. They trail things here to nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now here is Brendan Rodgers. Here comes a pitch. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. Could have a really good day out there on the mound. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter and just can eat you up, saw you off. I'll tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Tolia in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. The 1 1. He swings and fouls one off. Next offering is in the dirt. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One down, base is empty. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss struck him out. 
He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, oh, known for ball. using the entire the field. Pitcher. Just couldn't sit Take back care. long enough on that Whoa. one. Two outs, base is empty. Jacob Stolens digging in for the Rockies. No, Just missed. Not. Splits yep. the plate. Strike one. The wind of the pitch. <laughs> Two down, nobody on. Over at the top of the fifth. On the ground to third. Tosses across That's the enough. first. And it's a one, two, three inning. So they go quietly there. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Rockies two and the Giants nothing. Back here at Oracle Park. John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton. And set to get us started. Bottom five. Tyler Fitzgerald. The right-hander back to work. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0-1. Well, these Giants need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. No, Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. Did a nice job getting there. Good for all, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. He hit into a double play his first time up. That one missing inside. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have runners in scoring position because they put themselves there. The Rockies up by two. Last half of inning number five. Lambert keeping him close. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. The one on. And here it comes. Line drive. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, that may end up being an at bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And up next for the Giants, Kirk Casali. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. First and second here, no outs. That one in there across the letters. And a count one and two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Kicks and deals. That one to first. The throw to second. Back to first. And that is a double play. The 3-6-1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect. And right there, they made it look pretty easy. Brett Wisely, the next giant to hit. He's 0 for 1. And that is in for a strike. 0 and 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And he deals. Swing and a miss. That strike two. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. That one misses. And a count one and two. 
I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in a 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. And now it's one and two. Ground ball up the middle. Rogers jump throw. An acrobatic play to end the inning. So they've been held scoreless through five. It's the Rockies two and the Giants nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now, Sam Hillier. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, to try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Slings it across. Out. Lead off man retired in the sixth. Up next for Colorado. The shortstop. Ezekiel. So the Rockies Tovar. lineup turns over. And now the shortstop. Ezekiel Tovar. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One out. Base is empty. Ball. And a good Inside. eye there. Right through there for a strike. Two ball, one strike. Good no. eye in that spot. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And that's in for a strike. Full count. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. And that one off the inside edge. You walked him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's Jake Cave now. He's already homered in this game. That one misses. Ball one. Tobar stands at first with one out. That's off the mark, and it's 2-0. Oh. Late with the swing there. Well, he came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. Oh. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Right side, wait. There's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Offense held a check there. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rockies two and the Giants nothing. And we're back. Now it's the DH. Jorge Soler. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game all it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on the pitch ball, ball one no strikes one action ball. in the no pen strikes. down there Cal Quantrill getting ready to come on for Bud Black Feltner also throwing ah. next offering in there for a strike that's strike one That one is absolutely belted. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. That's and the there's a ball. ball. And a ground ball to first. Takes it himself. One away, bottom of the sixth. Now batting. First baseman. Warm up. Wade. So here's Wade now. Oh, 
That's a strike. It's 0-1. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. The pitch. Next offering, pop to the air, right field. Out number two. Now that the center field. Elliot. Elliot Ramos, the next giant to hit. And look Take out. Ball, that one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Well, it's safe to say he won't be getting invited to the charity golf tournament this offseason. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Peter Lambert out of the game, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Pitching change here, Cal Quantrill. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Runner at first with two away. And here is Matt Chapman. Just missed. One zero. Late swing fouled off. Two. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. One ball. Benny really two sells the changeup with that arm action. Ball and two. another ball. Two balls. Two strikes. And that one is inside. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Michael Conforto on deck for San Francisco. Three balls, two strikes to count. Good job to fight that one off. With the tying run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Two outs on the ground, right side. Tosses to first, third out. A strong showing from the Colorado bullpen. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Rockies two and the Giants nothing. Back here at Oracle Park. New inning getting started. Now it's going to be Brenton Doyle. The pitch. That one finds the zone. And it's 0-1. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Mike Bauman getting ready to go. Miller getting cranked up as well. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Casali hauls it in, and there's one away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Down the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. One finds the zone. That's strike one. Some hitters are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0 1. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. And the pitch. And that one in the air center field. Ramos settles under it. He makes the grab. Two away. Up next for Colorado, the designated hitter. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Chris Bryant now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Hey. 
wouldn't south. chase Walker. that time. Two down, nobody on. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Ball. And another ball. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound. He's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Oh, cool. And a four-pitch walk. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see so if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Here's the second Brendan. baseman, Brendan Rodgers. Oh. That pitch gets the inside corner, and that is strike one. Swing and a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Now a chance for Michael Tolia. No ball. One strike. Two on, two outs. In for a strike. And the count is 0-2. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Two left for Colorado, but they hold the 2 nothing lead. Back here in San Francisco, and here is Michael Conforto. Quattrill in his fifth season, 29 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. That's down and in. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. Quantrill back to work. That one finds the zone. Three balls and a strike. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Right-handed reliever. Fights it off. You'll see another. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the righty deals. Popped up. One down. Now batter. Not shortstop. Tyler Fitzgerald. And up next for San Francisco, Tyler Fitzgerald. That's in there. Righty to the plate. No. Just off the outside edge. Yeah, the count one and two. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. And a one-two. The shortstop takes the ball. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Pitch ball. misses. Ball three. Look out. Mm -hmm. 
into center. Hillier just towards it. And there's two away. The right fielder, number five. Mike Yastrzemski up here. One for two. That one finds the zone. Strike one. The Giants down by a pair here at the bottom of the seventh. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. No ball. Two strikes. Breaking ball inside. Going to count one, one and two. two. Line drive, base hit right field. And that keeps the inning alive. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Now nice right. line drive Catch to the pull right. side right there, but he didn't spin off Good. of it. That's that the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Kurt Casali, the next giant to hit. Ball. First pitch misses. in for a strike well we call that key holding even though it's right there and looks pretty good if he doesn't love it he's not going to swing that early in the count tying run at the plate that one misses and the count is even two and two And that's okay. down it away. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Brett Wisely waits to bat for the Giants. The tying run at the plate. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Not what he wanted to do there, bro. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm, Ryan Feltner. He's been so good against lefties. Ryan Feltner. Now it's the second baseman, Brett Wisely. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Fastball for a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. So the tying run at second. Ball one. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and that is that. No runs, a hit, two left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Rockies two and the Giants nothing. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Mike Bauman, and he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. And here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. The catcher, Jacob Stallings. The pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. But all these Rockies digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. One We've more. already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Conforto hauls it in, and there's one away. The center field, number 16. Next to hit for the Rockies, Sam, Sam Hillier. Hillier.
And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Ball Outside one. low, and it's one and one. one Activity ball, one in the strike. bullpen. Luke Jackson, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Next offering is in for a strike. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So the batting order turns over. And now Ezekiel Tovar. Up and in. And that's ball one. Fly ball center field. Ramos drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the eighth. And now the DH, Jorge Soler. The designated hitter. Jorge. The pitch. Soler. That That's misses the, ball. the zone. 1 and 0. Oh. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tyler Kinley getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Fastball yeah. for a strike. It's in there. And the count, one and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. A line to kick the pitch. Bounced up the middle. Bounces into the outfield for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Lamont Wade Jr., the next giant to hit. And that's in there for strike one. Now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And now the count is even. Tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. One, two. Foul ball still a one and two count. The Rockies trying to protect a two run lead here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Oh. Swings through Ooh. it, and that's a strikeout. Up next to the Giants. Elliot the Ramos, the, the next Giant oh, to yeah. hit. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Gets the call. Going one. Solaire leads off first with one away. Next offering is down low. One ball, one, one strike. Ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. And a one-one. Just missed. That one the other way. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. They couldn't have asked for a better out. Makes a great play on the line drive, and they keep the runner at first. Just like that, they're almost out of the inning. Jalen Beeks gets handed the rock out of the pen. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here's Matt Chapman. Oh, 
right through there for a strike. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Two outs. Allen finds the corner. 0 and 2. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Next pitch is outside. I don't know how you take that one after the called strike on the corner. Just a little bit off the edge. Oh, that pumped him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. Oh, it looks like he wanted that slider to finish on the inside part of the plate, not start on the inside and end up hitting the batter. It looked to me like he just tried to do a little too much with that one. So two on with two away. And here is Michael Conforto. That one's in there on one. So the tying run at second. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out, and they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Ground ball to the right oh. side. Down the line, and it's foul. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Pitch One, misses. Two. It's a ball and two strikes. One, Wouldn't two. chase that time. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. On the ground at first. That's a base hit. Runner around third. He scores, and now they trail by one. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. And pinch running for the Giants. Tyro Estrada. So two outs with runners on the corners. Tyler Fitzgerald, the next Giant to hit. That one finds the zone. Strike one. On the ground to third, McMahon. They take the force out. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Now into the game, Tyro Estrada. He'll be out in left field. Now on the bump, Eric now, Miller. Big swing and miss stuff right Number here, Boo. Averaging more than Aaron. one strikeout per inning this season. Never. So far, he's been pretty electric. Well, we one run game. Run. Jake K digging in for the Rockies. Jake. One for three. Jake. And a pitch. Ball. And that's both. Oh. The inside edge, and it's one to know. Action in the pen down there. Taylor Rogers appears to be getting ready, and I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Left hand hitter waits. Ball. And that one is lifted in the air. Brings it in. One away. Now batter, the right fielder, Brenton Doyle. Brenton Doyle getting ready to hit. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. And that drops in for a strike. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, He's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. And a pitch. The punch out there. 
That's the second out. Well, three pitches down, down, fastball up, swinging, boog. It's like learning a chord progression, getting those strums right. Man, so many pitchers prefer working north south these days compared to the east west, and that was a great example right there. And it's fouled away. That one is upstairs. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Ball. And that's through there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Ball. And another ball. Two, two. Misses inside, and the count is filled up. Payoff pitch in the air, left field down the line. Estrada makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Bottom part of the order: seven, eight, nine, two up in inning number nine. It's the Rockies two and the Giants one. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Tyler Kinley. Now, this is an extremely confident pitcher. He loves the pressure. Actually likes a one-run game better than a comfortable three-run save opportunity because that's when he pitches his best. And digging in for San Francisco, Mike Yastrzemski. Here comes a pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. One run game, bottom nine. That one missed. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that one fouled off. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Rips that one to right. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ballgame. Kurt Casali, the next giant to hit. That one finds the zone. Strike one. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. Strike three, got him swinging. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. He's two outs away. Here's the second baseman, Brett Wisely. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. That's in for a strike. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Fall off foul. Rip to short. 
Sends it to Tolia, and they're down to their last out. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. And next is the designated hitter, Derek Hill. Entered the game as a pinch runner. First plate appearance for him here. And fouled off. So the tying run at second. Turned on, but foul wide of third. This could end it. Sends it to center, and this should be it. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Rockies hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Kind of a strange win, only three hits, so they definitely weren't firing on all cylinders there. Great pitching, really kept them in it and gave them a chance.